someone posted my like slave photo in a discord and they were like damn who is that and they're like that's xxw and they're like oh that's like <laughs> like she could do that like damn she can roll up like that and they're like no it's a filter they're like oh sh <laughs> i was like okay this guy has a type for sure <laughs> This is the Float 65. This is available for pre-order right now. This goes until August 16th and you have seven colors and it starts at $119, so $120. So this one looks like it is the Urban Steel. So the colors you have is a burnished gray, crusted copper, caution orange, which looks more like a yellow on the website. You have the graffiti purple, urban steel, and then you have the chalk, and then you have the stealth black. So it looks like out of the seven options, you have burnished gray and crusted copper that have the textured finish and everything else is going to have the smooth finish. So this is, <laughs> is a bun steel 65% keyboard that uses magnets. Fucking magnets. How do they work? The designer has listed it as an open air design. It uses the hot swap PCB that has been designed by Yankar. Just looking at the board, so this is like the ultimate minimalist looking board. Okay, if you're going for as little materials as possible, here you go. <laughs> it does use a bent steel so here you can see this looks like just like one piece that they have bent <laughs> into this case you do have this blocker for the arrow keys you have like the smooth top and bottom bezels they are going to be bigger than the side bezels and then you have the more like straight rigid side bezels that are going to be thinner here you can see it does use a daughter board Here's a side. So it does have the open air design. So this is what gives the board its typing angle based on the angle of the bent steel. And then here you can kind of see like the components of the keyboard. So here you have the plate. This is like a magnet right here. And then here's the screw onto said magnet. And then here you can see like the daughter board right there. And then here's the back. So they've put four rubber feet on the case itself. It has these two holes and these are what the daughter board screws onto. And then here I was talking about the screws onto the magnets. So here you can see this. So it does come with a FR4 plate, magnetic top mount, six degree typing angle, and it's very, very lightweight. Oh God. Oh God. These are some strong magnets. Holy moly. There's probably a better way to do it. The magnets are very strong. Uh, let me see what Reagan said. Okay, one note I have is that the magnets are very strong. When severing the magnets in the case, be mindful of them quickly snapping back to the case each other if you happen to remove them from the plate. Okay, well, there you have it. Looking at the plate, no flex cuts. The plate does have four tabs for the magnets. Each of the magnets has two screws to keep it onto the plate and it has washers as well. So the magnets have the screw holes that you screw in and then you secure it with like the washers on the back. So that's how you can tell like, okay, this is the back, this is the front. If you look at the case, you see it does have these grooves. So kind of like quote anchor points. So you know where to put board it's not just you know free for all it does have these grooves for the magnets so you know where to like position it i've been told they're very strong i guess i'll figure out like a good way to remove it from the case but this is the bottom this is the top <laughs> it's, it's a very simple design i've actually never built anything like it before <laughs> kind of cool very minimalist <laughs> This is the PCB, Hot Swap PCB by Yankar. You can do split backspace. You can have your choice of bottom row. Step to regular caps lock. Here's the back. There's your cable. This is a physical reset button. And I was told it has addressable underglow LEDs. So that's pretty nice. Oh, oh my God. Look how strong these magnets are. Frank tells me he has something important to tell me, but today they all posted on their story a meeting between Extra Prius, Tim Keyless, Teha Types, and Ida Mushiki. Did they brew something up? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, but 
Frank says he has something important to tell me. Hmm. But here's the thing, if he wanted it to be private, then he would have just DM'd me, right? <laughs> mm. In terms of what I expected, I didn't think this was going to sound the way that it did. And I also think that it's neat that it changes based off of like, if you use a dust mat, if you don't use a dust mat. And I do like they added this RGB. I didn't notice it at first, like it was so subtle. This is a really nice touch that I enjoy. For 120, like yeah, it's a simple idea. It's kind of cool in my opinion. So this is the glossy finish. And we have JMK DMG on it. It does have this curvy look on the top and bottom, and that's from the bent steel. Here you can see everything. So your PCB, your plate, you can see the magnet tabs right here. And then here you can see the bends on the case itself. And then this part is closed. You have these two holes, which is where the daughter board screws into and this cutout for the daughter board. Then you see there's another cutout right here. And this is to help you put the plate and PCB in and out. It does use a JST cable that's a bit long, but you can just like push it back so you don't notice it. This is the USB port side. So it does use daughter board. It's a lower side centered USB port and then here you can see the front lip and so here is how you would disassemble it basically whenever you're taking it apart from here you can actually just like push it out like this it's a pretty tight fit so you want to make sure to push it up a little bit so from here so once you've propped it out like that now you can just take this part out but be careful because the magnets are strong and you also have to be careful because of the cable so i'd actually recommend taking the jst cable off first and then if you want to put it in you want to carefully put it in like this so from the top side and then the magnets will snap on and then from here you just want to nicely slide it in so you might have to push up on the pcb a little bit to make sure it secures but after you've got it in there are grooves on the board that secure the magnet in place and then it should just like pop into place like that neat here are the leds they're only on the side Boop, boop, boop. But yeah, if you guys are interested, this is available until the 16th from Space Cables. There's also Canada, who is R&D KBD. UK, which is Prototypist, and EU, who is Salvin. Estimate fulfillment time is going to be Q4. It's not going to be as stiff as like your traditional top mount. It actually felt like really comfortable. And then the sound profile for the board itself is really unique. You know when you type and most of the sound you hear is like going to come out from like this top part. But this open case design is unique because 
now you have sound not only from the top but also from the sides so it kind of sounds like when you change the sound to surround sound that's like the best way I could describe it. Changing the material you have it on will also change how it sounds. It sounded deeper on like just plain wood, but then on the desk mat, it was more muted. And that's because, you know, there's no bottom case and it will bounce differently, right? But yeah, that's the board. 120. <laughs> this honestly has exceeded like what I thought. I will say the only thing is that you'll probably have to do external stuff if you're trying to like change the sound yourself rather than like it coming with foam for you to like add it in, take it out, etc. Tape mod was suggested and I would say like if you don't like the sound, I would swap out the switches or change out your dust mat, which can be like annoying for some, but the board itself is a very neat concept. And yeah, that's the board. Thanks Reagan for sending it out to me.